Hey guys, good morning. Uh, I've got uh, some busy work to do here in the shop today. Uh, we're going to do a lot of different little things. Um, I've got some modifications to my engine hoist here. The big red standing behind me. I've got to uh, make a make a few modifications to make it a little bit uh, more comfortable to use and move around. Uh, my previous engine hoist uh, had had a few things done to it that made it a little more comfortable, and I'm going to do the same to this one. Um, once I get done with that, I'm going to be grinding out the remaining rivets in the leaf spring hangers on the frame here of the 48, um, as well as the cross member rivets. I think there's uh, about six rivets I got to grind out and uh, get out the BFH and um, knock those brackets off the frame and get get the frame cleaned up. I've got to align the bottom of the frame with my boxing plate and a couple spots there where those hangers are. Um, once that's addressed and the hangers are removed, I can bend the frame back up to meet my boxing plate, weld that area, um, do all my touch-ups that I need to do on the on the welding that I did on the boxing plates and the IFS cross member and the coil buckets. There's two or three welds that I'm going to grind out and uh, run over a second pass uh, just to clean them up so they look a little nicer. Um, and then one once that stuff's all done, I'm going to hook the motor back up on the hoist here, get the tranny behind it, and sling it back in there and bolt it into the mounts. Uh, bolt in the cross member um, for the transmission and bolt in uh, the front motor mounts. And uh, I can start wiring after that. So um, that's what I've got to do. I've got a lot of, lot of, lot of work to do ahead of me. So... Uh, Hopefully knock that out in the first couple hours and uh, then I can focus on cleaning out the interior so I can uh, start pulling my wires and um, making some wiring progress. We're going to be wiring up the, uh, the computer for the TBI 350. Um, I've got to build a bracket to mount the computer to the firewall. Uh, I've also got to build a battery tray because the existing battery tray uh, that's riveted to the frame, so that's four more rivets i got to grind out. Um, the existing battery tray is for a 6 volt battery and we're putting a bigger 12 volt battery in it. Uh, previous owners had taken the uh, the oxy, uh, oxy wrench to it and cut a big hole in the back side of the battery tray and stuck a full size battery in there. Um, so rather than run with that we're going to build a whole new battery tray that properly carries the weight of the battery and it can't bounce around and fall out of there. So uh, I've got to grind the old rivets out of the old uh, tray and uh, knock that off the frame, punch out the rivets and um, build my new tray. I'll probably end up using the first two rivet holes from the factory tray on the new uh, battery tray that I'm going to build and I'll have to drill two more holes um, for a total of four to bolt on that battery tray. I think, I think there's four holding on the current tray. I'll look and see. See, I smoothed the whole frame rail and all the welds on the bucket just to give it a sleek look. And these two holes here 
are the two I'm going to fill. I've already filled the driver's side. So that's all smoothed out and these are the two holes that are filled here. Now just a small touch, uh, probably completely unnecessary, but I figured while I had the, uh, the welder and the grinder out, I might as well take care of that. Well guys, the grind fest continued today. I put in uh, six hours on the grinder. A um, little bit of that was welding time and cleaning up some of them welds, but I had to grind out a lot of rivets today. To, uh, oh, I also took out the six volt battery tray that was also riveted in. So a lot of, a lot of rivet grinding today. Uh, the garage is a mess. I'm a mess. I've got to build that battery tray. I was hoping to get to that today, but the, uh, the uh, shackle hangers and leaf spring hangers really gave me a, a hard time today. Uh... Okay guys, so today I spent a lot of time uh, grinding and removing uh, all those unnecessary brackets off the frame, cleaning up all the welds uh, and making it, making the frame rails smooth. Um, also fill, filled a few holes on the frame rails. Um, touched up a few of those welds that I wanted to revisit and uh, removed the battery tray, removed the old transmission cross member, the rear leaf spring hangers and the front shackle hangers. So I ground out a lot of rivets today and, uh, and beat a lot of those brackets off. Unfortunately I couldn't save the rear leaf spring hangers or the cross member. Um, I, had to, I had to cut them in order to get those pieces out. Um, but in the end, uh, mounted the motor back in place and, uh, it's all bolted in, good to go. I just have to drill a couple holes for the transmission cross member, um, and that can be bolted into place as well. It's currently held in place with a couple C-clamps, um, at the correct measurement from the, uh, rear leaf spring front hanger is where, what I used for reference and, uh, squared that up in the frame and I have the motor now bolted, motor and transmission are bolted into the chassis and I fitted both exhaust headers just to so that when I'm wiring it I have an idea where things can go where they can't go in proximity to the headers and I'm gonna start wiring tomorrow so I'm gonna punch a hole in the firewall tomorrow I I have a location 
planned out that I'm going to pass the harness through so that the engine harness is completely routed on top of the intake manifold so there's no exposed wires anywhere you know inside the fender wells I want all of that to be clean firewall to be clean the inside uh, fender wells clean I don't want any uh, any wires anywhere except on top of the intake manifold so I'm gonna try that we'll see how that goes um, I will need to run the chassis harness along the frame rail but I'm gonna try and route that inside the frame rail so you don't have to see it for the headlights the front horn the fan controls uh, turn signal wires uh, the basic chassis harness so that's where I'm at here today I leave off and uh, I'll show you show you guys how things look at the front here so these are our cleaned up frame rails uh, I've got the headers mounted onto the motor distributor stabbed in place motor mounts bolted in plenty of clearance on the driver's side So there you go. The only thing, uh, only thing under the chassis at all is that torque tube from the rear end. So everything looks really good. Motor mounts fit really nice. And uh, the frame rails look a lot better without all those brackets hanging off of them. So now you can see where our exhaust is going to go. It's got plenty of room down there. So now we can uh, we can route our exhaust without anything in the way. Looking good. So that's where she sits for tonight. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to start wiring. I'll get video of, of all that. I need to locate the chassis harness fuse block. I need to locate my relay block for uh, ECM relay uh, or PCM relay, depending on how you want to refer to it. Um, computer relay, fuel pump relay, horn relay. Uh, what's the other one? headlight relay, high and low beam relays. So I've got a lot of wiring to do, but um, but plenty of plenty of clearance for everything, plenty of room to route my wires, everything's gonna be hidden away, tucked away cleanly, nice, nice looking uh, under hood. So I'm gonna get started on that tomorrow. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this uh, project and you like this kind of content, please click like and subscribe. Uh, and I'll try to keep delivering it to you. Thanks for watching.